Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here is a video on the hardware installation of a WD Black SN750 M.2 2280 1TB SSD. Alright, let's go ahead and do one other thing which is to unpackage it and I have already done that very quickly and we'll get to the installation in just a few moments but first be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and definitely click on the bell for me. That way you'll get all notifications and you'll know whenever a new video is available from Nick's Computer Fix. Alright, let's go ahead and begin the install here. By first unboxing this very quickly and I've speed this up through the video editing software here so that you won't be sitting there twiddling your thumbs and as you can see I've already unboxed it and uh, we'll take the last little piece of plastic off and give you a close-up shot all right and we'll pop it out there okay now here it is is that the reason I want to pause here for a second is point out that on the right hand side here we have a notch, a single notch, which is between pins uh, 59 and 66 and there's five pins right there. So that tells you that this is a M key edge connector and on the left hand side here this is where the notch is for the where the screw gets uh, mounted on the motherboard that keeps the M2.2280 SSD in place. Alright let's go ahead and open up the desktop computer that I'm going to install the WD750 into and this happens to be an Acer TC865NE Select i5 which houses a 8th generation Intel i5 processor um, the 8400 version. Now as you can see I have already opened up the case here and we have perfect access to the motherboard and you can see the M.2 2280 SSD slot right in the center here and I have good access to it because I have already removed a bracket or two that was housing a 2.5 inch SSD SATA drive and that way um, I can get to the M.2 connector very easily. Now let me point out that you have to line up this notch here up top with the notch that's on the motherboard connector and that would be right here and the larger part is down here and I don't know if you can see or not but it says M.2 um, on the motherboard right there. Okay, um, one other thing when you position this into that uh, connector on the motherboard it has to be at an angle slightly up and then it will slide right on into the slot and once it's in place you want to go ahead and push it down gently um, at the same time keeping it um, positioned in that slot grab your screw and screwdriver and then go ahead and insert the screw into the hole there and you know tighten it up and while you're doing that keep in mind never over tighten any screw on the motherboard you could possibly break something um, because the motherboard is made of plastic and uh, very uh, sensitive metals also, uh, you don't want to strip the threads either. Okay, it just needs to be, you know, snug and that's good enough. Okay, we have come to the end of the hardware installation of this drive. I've already, as you can see, have Windows 10 installed on it. Um, what I ended up doing was I cloned um, Windows 10 from my... 2.5 inch SSD SATA drive that I had installed in the uh, desktop and uh, put it on my um, WD SN750 M.2 drive and it took about a half an hour to accomplish. The performance is really super good. It's fast, it's um, really quick and I'm happy with it and in a upcoming video I will show you the performance attributes of this drive 
and also how to clone uh, Windows 10 onto it if, uh, if you're interested in that as well. Okay, um, again, that's the end of this uh, hardware installation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And definitely subscribe to see more upcoming videos and click on that notification bell. Have a great day.